Hi, welcome back to OD YouTube channel. Today I am here for another unboxing. This is a big package that I purchased from the Spanish store Ink Traveler, which and they are specialized in Japanese stuff. And this has inside a Caveco pen, as usual, but also some other stuff. So today I brought here my nice pen i need my nice knife i need to clean it because it's full of glue from the packages and i'll show you what i got not only caveco pen but that's the only fountain pen i bought but there are some more stuff and maybe you may find interesting to hear about it so It's starting to, in a fun way, just with lots of stuff falling everywhere. Okay, let me put the package aside. A little something that should have something inside, I don't know. Okay. And here we have the big envelope with all the packaging let's put this away this is the time where I feel kind of sad for being myself because I'm just me this guy named Paulo which is too clumsy to have a beautiful unboxing and as I'm, uh, I was telling you I'm, I get a, a, a little sad about that because all the packages that come from Ink Traveler are always amazing they look so nice because they have all kinds of details like the washi tape all around Let me. they have the little string the Midori clips, this one has a deer, and the Ink Traveler business card. So this is a very, very nice store. I really recommend them. I don't have any special association with them, but I really like them as a customer. They always put some stamps, Japanese writing. I love these. A little postcard. Dear Paul, Happy New Year ink traveler this is so nice and i'm sure in someone else's hands this would make a beautiful and perfect unboxing video but i think that's just not me and let me take let me save the little deer which is tangled on this string and he deserves to be free maybe I'll do that later no then look this is so fun okay um, so let's keep opening this This is really an amazing store. They make this kind of wrapping and I really like them. And I already brought lots of stuff from them. And there always there's always some extra stuff around. So, let me show you. Maybe one day I can go around some other stuff which are not exclusively fountain pens but there are also uh, this kind of items let me take this all away as well as i can so one thing that i, I always use and maybe i'll talk about it some other day is my traveler's notebook and i really like these lightweight paper refills so this i, th I think these are my favorite and I when I buy something from some other some store that sells 
Traveler's Notebook uh, items. I always like to buy some extra refills because sometimes it helps just to bring the to use up the price of the shipping or in sometimes as I did this time just to increase the the price until I reach the free shipping uh, amount and I think that that's nice and I use them so sometimes I just use these to fill up my orders I always have here I also have here these travelers notebook this is a file that inside it has some metal things where you can put your used notebooks and it it works like a file like a file like an archive to have a few of them this will take five notebooks and for me this is i don't know how i like this i would say that to, it would take much more than five inside i don't know really how this works completely it has some instructions there i will use it and someday maybe as i was telling you maybe i'll show it to you i also bought some midori clips these are with birds and they are fun they are just fun they sent me these which i don't completely know what this is i'll see it later i what is inside this as I, I tell you they always send some unexpected things wrapped in some ex unexpected ways Oh, this they sent I, I really think this is fun because these are stuff that can be used for the journaling the the dried leaves pieces of newspapers like a it looks like kind of a cup holder so these are stuff that are really nice just to just to play to have some fun with your ink travelers with your sorry with your travelers company notebooks and i really enjoy this and i i, I usually don't have interesting um, decorations on them they are very they are made mostly to be used um to take notes of my many projects and maybe i'll make also a video about it but i think i may start to make some decorations on them now what i have here more i bought also these this is the, the little rigid uh, layer that you put inside your notebook just to have a flatter and stronger surface to write behind the sheet of paper that you're using and they they always make a different one each year this is the 2024 version i don't see here 2024 written but maybe it's there somewhere um it's fun uh, it's they are always fun and in this side i have a ruler which i use a lot believe me i use this this stuff a lot because it's really useful it's always with me and actually it has this square pattern and you can put this on the other side of the sheet of paper when it's blank paper and this lightweight lightweight paper is quite translucent and you can see and you can write um aligned with lines i, I don't but i i can never do it because i am too clumsy to do that even with lines and squares um this store also makes uh, they have always these kind of uh, notebook uh, or a magazine with some information about the traveler's notebook and the ideas and stores and so on so nice also to have maybe i'll try 
<coughs> excuse me maybe I'll, I'll try to someday to to make some kind of um, cutouts and collages because I think it's fun so I bought also these um, this thing this is um, a cover for Midori paper notebook the A5 size I hope this is the right size I think it is and I also got I hope it will fit I also bought two of these I already have one and I think it's really good and I'm trying to organize my life I hope for for once and for good I hope and so these are very very nice because I will have to put down lots of comments this paper is nice it's also it's also beautiful so I will talk about this also then what's inside here they sent me two little samples they are so nice uh, blue black uh, sailor and the jeans I'm not sure if you can see jeans aqua blue so they always send they always send me some kind of gift and here we have two little ink samples that I will use for sure and these ink samples are quite nice they are very small uh, they will allow maybe for two fills only but they are nice to they are more than enough to try to see if I like an ink not really to make a review for the channel and I don't think I will make many more uh, ink reviews because they are very hard and I'm not sure if they are that useful because there are people that make really good ink reviews and but this is enough just for me to try and to decide if I want to buy more or not I have some paper that I bought which looks nice and it has some kind of a pattern there which has some shiny lines that you can see some shiny some shiny um, how can I say they are encrusted I think you can see one of those shiny lines there I thought I bought some um, at least I wanted to buy maybe I didn't really some uh, uh, envelopes and I also bought something else because I, I because I decided that I will not make many more ink reviews um, I used to make the ink reviews in three papers like uh, Moleskine which were them? Moleskine, Oxford, Optic Paper, uh, Rhodia, Dotpad and uh, some really an inkjet uh, like copy paper regular copy paper and then I would make some chromatograms or chromatographies on coffee filter paper and also some swatches with a knife in Rhodia paper small notebook um, but I think I will uh, forget about it because as I was telling you it's kind of too hard to, to do them and I don't think it's that useful because there are more people that do them and so maybe I will switch those Rhodia swatches for this stuff this is the ink collection cards I bought two they are the same they are the one is red in the outside and the other one is blue and it's 150 50 sheets of paper I think and so what you have here is just a little card to make your notes about the inks it's not really um, a very thick card maybe I don't know 80 grams or even less per square meter there is no information here at least no information that I can read and you can have kind of two different swatches in different shapes maybe you can make a different one here 
or maybe you can put some water and see if it smudges. I have to th think how I will use these cards and then you can write here so you can have an idea how the ink will perform and I think I will start uh, organizing my ink swatches this way and no longer in the way that I used to do which was nice, I liked it, but those, are, those, those were just some Rhodia notebook little papers that go, uh, went around everywhere and I never know where I put them and this way they can be inside boxes and go into the drawer and here I have 300 future ink uh, tests so I think this is more than enough for some time I'm trying not to buy too much ink and I'm trying to use it I'm doing kind of inspired not inspired because I decided to do that anyway but it is in a way um, something similar to what uh, Watsky Squirrel is making on his channel that he's trying to reduce his ink collection I'm doing that I have a specific way of doing it which is slightly different from his and I'll make maybe a video someday about that if I can promise any video to you then here is the pen this is a pen this is a special edition pen which is um, an homage to Marusaki Shikibu, which was a 11th century uh, writer, I think, and it is a Satori collection for Stilografica Literarias, which means it is, this is a, um, I think they are Spanish, a Spanish um, publishers, uh, Spanish publisher for Japanese themed books. So it's not from Japan, but it is about Japanese themes. And they made a special pen for celebrating these uh, writers. She was a famous writer and very important in Japan. So they, they, it comes with this sleeve, it comes with the box, and it comes with a Japanese wavy pattern and Mura, Murasaki Shikibu. And let me open this and I was wondering which the which color it would be. So here she is. This is kind of a, I would say this is a book marker. It comes with a the nostalgia clip, which is nice. And this is a skyline sport. It is a little bit dirty with the the residues of this felt inside and it says Murasaki Shikibu there and it is a Kaveco collection so this means this pen is exactly uh, just um, how can I tell you this is just a rebranding remarking of the Kaveco collection uh, light lavender in a way this kind of surprises me this pen is more expensive it's 65 euros but i had to get it I, I don't regret it i really want to have this pen and because cafe collection is really important i may sell some other pens but uh, my cafe export collection is really important to me and i have this uh, th this pen it is interesting but i thought it would be slightly different from the cafe collection light lavender that came out some time ago or it could be the Caveco collection but with the same color but not saying Caveco collection and saying instead Caveco sport actually when this Caveco collection was made the light lavender there were an error in printing and some caps came with the Caveco sport engraving and printing this uh, came this is the right one Caveco collection if I was the one to make them I would choose if the color was to be the same I would have chosen to have the Caveco Sport engraving here just not to be the usual Caveco collection it would be Caveco Sport and with Murasaki Shikibu it would be 
kind of more special this way it seems just like the regular edition that you just put a name on a different name on it for this edition and it looks a little less special okay um as i'm telling you i'm not regretting it i'm just talking about my opinions and my opinions are not always 100 positive which doesn't mean that i'm regretting it so you can see i have the kavec collection the light lavender here and you can see this is a different uh, this is the same color exactly and by the way i just brought some pens to the table because if the color wasn't the same i would like to show you and i brought the Kavec frosted sport blush pitaya the cold pens skyline sport regal purple the skyline sport pink which is very 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 bright and because it's fun i brought this pen i know many people are jealous of this because i have this which is the Kavec art sport generation 2 amethyst which is a beautiful beautiful pattern and i have the Kavec art sport generation 1 samba which is also a purple a different one purple with pink and the kind of a greenish thing and with a different nib with no breather hole this one is really rare and i wish i had the Kavec art sport from generation 3 there was a dark purple or a purple or violet depends on which site they are selling it that i would love to have so if someone has the Kavec art sport purple from generation 3 and wants to sell it please let me know because that is the only Kavec art sport in the collection i'm excluding any eventual prototypes that i don't have uh, that's the only one that's missing in my Kavec art sport collection so if you have one and that you and you don't like it please let me know because i would like to have it and finally i have here just one this is one just for fun this is a prototype made of plastic and metal and plastic with kind of metallic paint uh, overlay with no Kavec sport engraving here just on the nib and on the cap and this was a early prototype for Kavec sport that is also purple and i'm very fortunate to have it so this is the Kaveco. this one is the Kaveco skyline sport exclusive edition for i have to check the name of the company sorry the satori for, uh, which is an homage to murasaki shikibu and you have to if you want this pen you have to think if you really want it for just a, a different engraving because the pen is exactly the same pen as the previous Kaveco collection light lavender so maybe it's good to have someone that can tell you this kind of detail so you make your informed uh, purchases and you don't feel like oh I expected something else now you know you can see how it relates with other colors so I got little samples the journals uh, let uh, a, a pad for letter writing the file for the the refills stuff to glue on the on the journals A magazine and some paper stuff that I don't know what it is but I will open it and see so this is all I have to show you today I hope you enjoyed this was another kind of another Kaveco video but was much more around about other stuff than Kaveco I hope you enjoyed this and I really really um, would recommend you to visit this travelers where is it the ink traveler store and now i can't i can't find their business card it was here somewhere 
here. I, I, they not, they do not support my channel. They don't have any partnership. They don't make any discounts to me. Not any affiliate thing. That's nothing. I just really love how they do stuff. I like their business, and they are in Spain, so things arrive here in Portugal very, very quickly. Sometimes the next day, and they are specialized only in Japanese stuff. So, so if you want Japanese stuff, it's a good place to go, but you won't find other interesting stuff that you can find in other stores. So this is all I had to show you today. I'm really excited. I know this is my kind of excited voice, which is not that much, but it's what I have. That's how I express myself. But this, this really gets me really excited. And this is a good way to start organizing myself to the new year of 2024. By the way, I'm recording this in the 30th December 2023. This was an awful year to me and I received this at my work a few days ago. I didn't open the package, I just left it here to make the unboxing for you. So maybe you'll see this only in 2024, but I wanted to share you these and this will, I think this will help me to have the extra motivation to go through with uh, stuff in my life for the next year, hopefully more than the next year. So this is all I had to show you. I hope you like this video. I hope you still enjoy coming here to the channel, though I'm not posting as often as I used to. And this is all for today. I hope to meet you soon. So, bye.